In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate the free Blender Kit add-on, which allows you to quickly search and download any 3D assets directly from within Blender. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let me quickly show you how to download and install the Blender Kit add-on. For this, simply go to blenderkit.com and I'm gonna put the link to this in the video description and simply click on download Blender Kit. Right here, you can download the newest version of the Blender Kit add-on. And you can also find installation instructions down here, but I'm just gonna quickly show you how to do this. So let's go back into Blender, go up to edit and open the user preferences. Then switch to the add-ons tab, click on this arrow up here and choose install from disk. Then simply select the zip file that we just downloaded and install from disk. When you now search for Blender Kit, it should show up right here. Just make sure that this checkbox is ticked so that the add-on is actually enabled. So when we now go back into the 3D viewport, you can press N to open up the side panel. And right here, you should find the Blender Kit options. Before we can start using it, you first need to log in. So let's go to the login options and either choose login if you already have an account or sign up if you don't have a Blender Kit account yet. I already have an account, so I'm gonna click on login, which will allow me to log in from within the browser. And that's already done. So now you can see that my profile shows up here and I can start downloading assets. So there are different options to browse the assets. The first one is to search for the asset right here, or we can also press N to close it and use the search bar on top of the 3D viewport. So currently we have 3D models selected and I can search for whatever I need. So let's say I need a tree. I'm just gonna type tree and you can see that a lot of different 3D models of trees appear. So I think I'm just gonna go with this one. So I can just drag and drop it into my scene. And once I let go, the tree is already being downloaded and placed directly within my scene. Another option to browse the library is to go to blenderkit.com and just look through the asset library. So here we also have a lot of different categories or I can just search up here. So let's say we also want a car. You can see that there are a ton of 3D car assets. Now, most of them are marked as free plans so you can download them even if you don't have a subscription, but some of them require you to have the full plan which gives you access to even more 3D assets. So I think I'm just gonna go with one of the free ones. So let's take this cartoon car. And when I click on get this model, I get to this page right here when I can click on copy search term. And when I now go back into Blender, you can see that this code is already pasted into the search bar and the car shows up down here. So let's drag and drop it into our scene as well. And it is already downloaded. So I think that's pretty amazing and very useful whenever you need any 3D assets for your scene. Now there are obviously not only 3D models available, but we can also get materials. So let's switch to the material section and let's say I want a wood material. I can simply type in wood and let me also bring in a monkey head, move it all the way over here. And once you found a wood material that you like, you can simply take it and drag and drop it on the asset that you want to use. So you can see now the monkey already has this wood texture. Next, I can show you that we can also download HDRIs. So let's switch to render preview and up here switch to the HDRI option. And you can see that we get a lot of 360 degree images that we can quickly download. So I think I'm gonna go with this pink sunset, click on it. Then we can choose whatever resolution we want. In this case, I think 2K is enough. So let's click on download. And this is already directly placed within our 3D scene. So I think this is really amazing. Now, one more option that we have is to download complete scenes. So let's switch to scene. So here we have a lot of render setups, but also any other kind of scene that you might imagine. So let's say I want to download this scene right here. I'm gonna click on it. And in this case, I think append is good. So I'm gonna click on okay. And it is downloaded really quickly. And you can see that we get a complete scene with lights, a camera, 3D objects, materials, and whatever you need. So let me switch back to the scene that we had before. And as you can see, most of the assets that you can find on Blender Kit are completely free to use. 
but some of them require you to get the full plan, which costs less than $10 per month. However, today is your lucky day, because if you use the link in the video description, you can actually get a 10% discount on the yearly Blender Kit subscription. Now finally, let me also show you how to upload your own assets to Blender Kit. So let me open up a new scene. I'm gonna delete everything from the default scene and let's say we bring in a monkey head. Now let's say this is already my finished asset and I want to upload it to my library. I can simply press N to open up the side panel, go to Blender Kit and with the object selected, I can go to upload. And here you have a bunch of options to tag your model. First, you can either choose whether you want to upload it publicly so everyone can download it or you can upload it privately. If you set it to public, you might also get a few dollars at the end of the month, depending on how many people with a full plan download your assets. But for now, let's just upload it privately and let's just call this monkey head and let's generate a default thumbnail. Now you could describe your asset even more in detail, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and upload it as it is. So now this asset is uploaded to my private library. And when I open up a new scene and let's say I need any of my 3D assets, I can simply open up Blender Kit and right here switch to my assets only, which is gonna show me this monkey right here. I can drag and drop it in here and have it whenever I need it. Right here, I also have access to all of my other 3D assets that I ever created and uploaded, and I can simply drag and drop it into my scene whenever I need any of them. I actually upload all of my 3D assets completely for free on my Blender Kit profile, so you can download them if you want to. They are all CC0 licensed, which means that you can use them for whatever you want and you don't even need to credit me. I'm gonna put the link to my profile into the video description. And don't forget that with the same link, you can also get a 10% discount on a premium subscription, which will give you access to even more 3D assets. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section.